A former Milwaukee police officer charged with reckless homicide goes on trial Monday. 36 year old Michael Mattioli is accused of choking Joel Acevedo at a party more than three years ago. 12 News Nick Bohr is live in the newsroom tonight. Nick, is Mattioli expected to take the stand? It's too early to say, Patrick. He is on the defense witness list, though, but that'll be decided later. His attorneys will try to show that while Mattioli did restrain Acevedo, he isn't responsible for Acevedo's death. He was my. It's a mama's boy. A heartbroken mother in a memory room for her son, 25 year old Joel Acevedo. He was um, very compassionate and goofy, as we say. <laughs> it's been more than three years since his grieving parents shared their memories and heartbreak with me. Joel died in April of 2020 at the home of his friend, off duty police officer Michael Mattioli. See, there's an officer in here? Police body cam video just released last month shows officers arriving at the scene. Mattioli reported Acevedo and other friends were at his house for a party when he saw Acevedo stealing from him. Oh, I'm assuming Joel's the person underneath you. Responding officers said Mattioli had Acevedo in a chokehold when they got there. By court order, Mattioli's image and responses are edited out. Oh, okay. He's still breathing, ain't he? I'm making sure you don't have your arm around his neck. Hello? Hey, get up. Acevedo died six days later, sparking protests. So this was all uh, things that occurred off duty and at that person's home. Uh, it's just a sad situation on both sides. Mattioli was charged with first degree reckless homicide and later resigned. Acevedo was a security guard at the time studying to be a police officer, just like his friends. He trusted all of these officers. That he yeah. surrounded himself. And it's sad that his life was taken away by an officer. Because that was something he aspired to be. Yeah. Yep. His parents told me then Joel lived at home and would never steal from someone. They have no doubt he'd still be alive were it not for Michael Mattioli. We have to trust in God. Yes. And But we do believe it's yes. going to come out. The truth will come out. Nick, the body camera video shows Mattioli was still holding Acevedo down when police arrived. What is his defense expected to be? They are expected to use Acevedo's medical history, including a respiratory disease, and defense attorneys are also expected to argue that Acevedo had used illegal drugs that night that could have contributed to his death. And we'll be covering that trial. Nick Bohr reporting live from the Milwaukee County Court, or rather from the newsroom tonight. 12 News will stream the trial live on the free WISN 12 app and our Facebook and YouTube pages. You can catch up on the case and watch our previous stories on our app right now.